Welcome back to the channel everyone. In this Primal Pursuit mission, I'm heading off to Fiji in the South Pacific. A group of beautiful islands with clear, clean, blue water, amazing coral reefs, a special place full of sea life. I get immersed in the culture, trying some traditional cooking methods, explore on land with this beautiful forests and waterfalls so much to explore and enjoy. We get stuck into some awesome spearfishing, diving, experiencing all the different species and creatures, cooking up some amazing feasts. Overall, a fantastic trip, experiencing some phenomenal sights, an amazing place with amazing people. Stay tuned for this multi-part series of my spearfishing Primal Pursuit mission to Fiji. made it to uh, Fiji shooting out somewhere somewhere around here tomorrow spot X and um, just doing a bit of pull testing I've got two guns set up which haven't been tested yet which is a big no-no before a big spearfishing trip got this uh, target tied to a few weights gonna anchor that down in here and um, got one gun line down there double roller gun and we've just got our single 130 roller here and um, yeah, pace it out. Fingers crossed they're shooting straight because uh, first thing tomorrow we're getting straight into some action. So let's do it. I'm so excited. Finally, after months of planning, organizing, da 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 da, I'm here at my accommodation for the two weeks. I've got all my gear ready day bag, fins, a couple of guns. So we've got the Robo and 130 carbon Dorado single roller, 16 mil band setup, and then I've got the CDR Coatsman double roller on my. OG 120 carbon and um, both with reels. It's going to be running reels for today. Uh, the spots we're going to, we should see some good fish hopefully, but no monsters. Never say never. But in summary, reels should do for today. And then if we get a really good patch of weather, we're going to head wide and target some um, big fish. So change to a breakaway setup for that. But out there is where we're heading. We're gonna shoot shoot down the coast about 25 k's or 25 minutes, one of the two. Quite far to a, a bommy, a bit of a reef that Dan hasn't been to for a long time, so pretty excited. Yeah, if he's excited, I'm excited. It's gonna be good. Just getting some bricky in me, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be out there very shortly, so. Woo, let's go take some species off.
After a short run down the coast, we finally make it to the first spearfishing spot and jumping in, I am pumped. Clean blue water and the whole water column is stacked with bait fish. Perfect signs for what we want to encounter. Hunting pelagics such as Spanish mackerel. We want some bait fish, we want that current, we want the point here. Holding the bait fish and then we can hunt. Beautiful coral bombies here covered in all sorts of little reef fish. Absolutely stunning. I just dive down enjoying the reef, admiring all these beautiful corals, slowly warming these lungs up. I've got a couple of weeks ahead of me diving and I am beyond excited. After a few dives down, warming up the lungs, it's time to try and hunt a Spanish mackerel. We have some throw flashes here, PVC tube, covered in holographic tape. Throw those out past the bait fish, let it sink down. Slowly follow the flasher down and hopefully you've lured a pelagic close enough for a shot. Amazing scenes here, big schools of bait fish. It's only a matter of time before something shows up. We just stay persistent, having turns, diving down, following our throw flashes. Dan's adamant. Some Spanish Max will come in shortly, we just have to be patient. An absolute magic spot. When you see this much bait fish, it's a sure thing that there's some predators nearby. Dan sinks down here, past the coral bommy, sinking down. Nothing showing yet, but we just keep persistent. <laughs> Dan gets us on the board for the day with a nice wee Spanish mackerel, very tasty fish apparently. I can't wait to get my turn and get one for myself. Once again, I sink down to meet my throw flasher, sinking down to about 12 to 15 meters, then sinking further. I'm right at the depths here. I'm in a hot spot here. I can see some bait fish darting around in the distance, which is always a good sign. Something must be chasing them. I just sit there, hover patiently, Analyzing my surroundings, looking for any glimmer, any shimmer of a nice fish lurking in the distance. I'm starting to get out of breath and then I catch this Spanish mackerel at the corner of my eye. Stretch out to meet it and get a shot right through mid body. Very nice holding shot, I see the shaft go right through the fish fish takes off down to the depths but it's definitely hurt. Kick back to the surface, worried about the sharks nearby, they come fast at any sound of a spear gun going off so I need to get this fish up fast. I grab the reel line to start dragging this fish up to the surface. I know I've got a good clean holding shot so I don't need to be too careful and winch it up. It's already a shark below, but I should be able to get it to the surface before I get taxed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, got another one. <laughs> well guys got my first Spanish Mac pumped as which one is it this little one eh must be so um yeah little one but hey stoked as it's the first one I've ever shot so yep and uh, here's Dan's one oh, a bit bigger so um yeah all going well amazing place never seen somewhere so fishy about five what five different bait species then yeah yeah just it's just crazy so um we're gonna go down the reef more and do a bit of a drift and hopefully something bigger swims by yeah. gun worked well it was a close shot but um yeah didn't miss that's the main thing so on we go big one's coming <laughs> Back in at the coral bommy and it was the same old technique using our throw flashes to sink down and attract in fish at depth. This time some nice trevally come in and I get a shot into this nice fish. Good sized trevally and which seemed to be one of the better eating fish wherever you go in the world. Always very tasty. Beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> fish on the board for Fiji, oh, Bart's belly, you can see on the face there, this black stripe, so yeah, bar face, yeah, bar face. Bar cheek. Bar cheek, sorry, bar, bar cheek, cheek really. so apparently amazing eating, you can't really see the colours, but yeah, like most Trevelli, just beautiful looking fish, and yeah, boom, number two, keep going. Of course, it was a matter of time before the reef sharks turned up. Any fishy spot usually has a few sharks, but we weren't worried. We continued, pushed on, and we weren't finished. Plenty of time to spare this day and see what else turns up. I'm back down in the deep water off this bommy, and once again, a nice Spanish mackerel comes in. Walu, they call them in Fiji and I get a good shot into this fish. It screams off, peels out some line. Amazing power for not a very big fish. Dan sinks down, making sure the shot's good and there's no sharks trying to tax my beautiful fish. Looks like the shot's good. It's a good, clean holding shot. No sharks, so I managed to pull the fish to the surface. Often where there's a fish on the line, same with the kingfish back in New Zealand. Its mates can come in for a look, so that's one reason Dan's down there also, to see if a bigger walu would come in with all the commotion. I slowly bring the fish up. Once it gets to the surface, it's another nice walu. Very tasty fish, apparently. At this stage, I've yet to try them, so I'm stoked it's going to be a feast for dinner. Stoked has got another, another Spanish mackerel. Walu. Beautiful fish. Another, another small one, but um, I'm not complaining, it's really fun. New guns doing the job. Double roller. Bit overkill probably for this, but it's all good. So I've just got these two bommies here and uh, the current's coming around in front of them. We've just got a huge congregation of bait fish. It's just stacked. Um, it's really, really cool. So we've got our little 
throw flashes and basically what we're doing getting 10 15 meters off the reef off the bombies heaving these out further letting them sink down to about 10 bomb down follow it down and by the time you get down there hopefully that's attracted something within range and um, yeah hover there for a bit you'll see the bait schools around you ho hovering around and then they'll suddenly just dart and uh, you know there's a predator nearby same as hunting the kingfish back home all pelagics are quite similar so aim for that direction and um, yeah it's working so far this one came in just as I was about to head to the surface out of breath I thought oh and then it turned away to swim I turned my way swim off that direction it did another circle and then I could come back around and um, get into range and plugged it this fish took off just like a bloody rocket I can't imagine what these big fish are like unbelievable just peeled out like 20 meters 30 meters of line so easily um, yeah just incredible incredible fish hopefully I get to experience a wahoo on this trip that's the that's the big aim um, so yeah stoked as though day one and I've got two two Spanish mackerel first I've ever shot so woo, go Fiji stoked Right, so we had a good good shoot up at the first spot we've got four spanish mackerels and a few other fish in there so pretty cool we've moved along the coast um quite a bit down the coast and yeah we're just in a bit of a spot the boys haven't dove here they've caught some big macs on the line so um yeah we're gonna all be exploring new ground and um yeah just trying to find the nice corner of this reef here where we're getting a bit of current um Heaps of bait fish around on the surface, so good signs. Looks fairly clean, hopefully a bit cleaner than the last spot. Yeah, last time they were here, they um, caught a 42 kilo Spanish Mac on the line, so um, that'd be pretty cool. See something like that around, we'll see. Let's get in there. After moving spots, jumping in, the action doesn't stop. Within moments of being in the water, a walu is seen swimming around, so I quickly throw my throw flasher, trying to lure it in closer, and sure enough, it works. The fish comes swimming below here, comes in to check out the throw flasher. I line it up, take the shot, and unfortunately it's just a little bit low, hitting in the gill plate low but it's not long before we see some more. Pete gets a shaft into one, and there's a few around this time. A small school. I line this fish up, and this time, with a better shot, hitting the spine of the fish, as you can see, immobilizing it, and that's three walu for the day. I am stoked. first day in Fiji got my first Spanish Mac actually three of them and a couple of Trevelli and um, we're just finishing gutting them now 
we've got a yeah, quite a nice selection. That's the Trevelli I got. There's another one somewhere. Oh, there it is. And uh, yeah, not used to um, leaving the guts in. Always gut them in the water in New Zealand, but yeah, can't do that here with the sharks. So all good. Sorry, bro. This is north. Just washing down the gear, cleaning up. Bear o'clock. Bit of Fiji and bitter. Celebrate uh, my first Spanish Mac and um, yeah, pretty successful day for all of us in, in general. Bin full of fish. Happy days, man. That night started with a wahoo sashimi entree. Another fish caught the week before from the boys. Absolutely beautiful eating. Cut up all the trevally, skin on, cooked it in some beautiful spices. Cinnamon, herbs, a few other secret ingredients, fried up, absolutely beautiful, along with a walu, Spanish mackerel, classic fish wraps for dinner, absolutely beautiful. Alright, here we have dinner, we have the beautiful Trevelli, we've got fish wraps for dinner, and we've got the Spanish mackerel here first time trying that so we're gonna tuck in Another lay day here. We've got the uh, rugby tonight, All Blacks. So we're gonna have a bit of a feast, few beers, and uh, we're just here at the local market, gonna get some fresh ingredients and um, have a nice cook up. Freshwater mussels, they said mussels, some sort of clam. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna have them on a beach cook up in the next few days. Apparently, not much flavour, obviously, not in salt water, so we'll figure out a tasty recipe, no doubt. Got the coconuts, this hydration out. Always. Keith, what's the plan, bro? What are we making? We're making uh, the script in the coconut for the coconda and the balsami. The balsami. Look at this. I'm already sore. <laughs> the boys are on. NZ versus Fiji going on here. <laughs> Fish for the ceviche is a dog tooth tuna. Boys just spared it last week. We pup here. It's going to be beautiful. So, um, yeah, we've just defrosted that, filled that up, and. Um, yeah, not a bad filleting spot, really. Let's do it. Yeah, 
little bit frozen, but it's going to be mint. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Just something a bit. All chopped up. Beautiful doggy. Nice. Dogs have issues here to feed. Mm. Right, I've got all our ingredients for this fresh uh, ceviche. We've got all our beautiful dog tooth tuna. We've got some chives. All our freshly squeezed lemon juice, lime juice, sorry. We've got tomato, capsicum, pepper, whatever you want to call them. Very important, we have our coriander. Big bowl of onion, and uh, we have all our freshly squeezed coconut milk coming up soon. So it's going to be very, very tasty. And uh, what a view! We have to enjoy this later. Best up lime juice. Get this doggy soaking, cooking. Got to be fresh and squeezed lime juice. Very important. Everything fresh. Um, coconut cream, if you can, go get some coconut, scrape it all out, squeeze that stuff. Otherwise, best coconut uh, cream is the Cara. So um, that's what I use back in New Zealand. I'm a bit lazy and not squeezing coconut, not scraping out coconuts, but yeah, Cara's not bad. Second option. Get that all mixing. Oh yeah. Kira, you already had enough doggy. <laughs> so the next process is to squeeze all this freshly grated coconut milk. It's the, uh, the fun part. Pete's going to show us how it's done. Get a nice thin mesh and just squeeze it all out. It's quite amazing how much milk comes out of the coconut. And in between that to keep you filled, whiskey or <laughs> Fijian bitter. Much better than the gold, in my opinion. Sportsman's beer. Sportsman's beer, so yeah. There it is. The real milk. Right here we have all these uh, young taro leaves making balsami. Stacking them up here. Can we fill that with the coconut cream and maybe something else, I'm not sure. Had it once before, it's absolutely beautiful. My favorite, actually. There you go. Right, so we've got all our uh, baby taro leaves all stacked up in about like 10, 12 piles and we're gonna wrap them all together with um, we've still got some coconut cream left over and uh, onion, got some tuna, corned beef, um, tomato, something else. But yeah, we're gonna wrap them all together cook that up and it is just beautiful. I've only had it um, once in Samoa. We had um, plain just with coconut cream, fresh coconut cream and it is just absolutely beautiful. Apparently you got to cook the leaves enough otherwise you, um, it gets real itchy in your mouth. You get like a you know, itchy mouth. Um, but yeah, feast is coming together. Here we go, so get a bowl, put your leaves in here. Get some of the coconut cream and onion mix. Tuna in this case. Bit of tomato. Wrap the little parcel up, little present. And that's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, we have our ready to cook. 
We've got John Hershey's. Boy, did we feast that night. Beautiful balsami. One of my favorite meals. Absolutely love it. A must try if you haven't already. Big feast, beautiful ceviche, you name it, it was there. A few beers, watched the rugby, the All Blacks did win, and the sun set down over this beautiful part of the world, this stunning Fijian coastline, and it was part one of the adventure, of the Primal Pursuit Fiji adventure, complete. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed the content, please consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing if you want to see some more, write a comment, suggest anything for me, maybe you have somewhere you recommend me dive. I love to travel, I love to explore, and I just love these Primal Pursuit missions. If you want to support the channel, primalpursuit.co.nz, a few links down in the description. If you're interested in a Fijian spearfishing experience, see the contact details I'll leave in the description below. Thanks for joining along on this adventure and I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.